Hey guys, welcome to FitScope. My name's Megan, and today I'm gonna take you through a 20 minute interval training on the elliptical. So what I want you to do is make sure you've got a water, make sure you've got your towel, your shoelaces are tied, and you're ready to go. So for the first couple of minutes, we're just gonna start with an easy warm up. My machine has both an incline and a resistance button. So I'm gonna be telling you to move the resistance and to move the incline to various positions to make your workout harder, easier, different times. So even if you don't have the same levels as me, I'm gonna give you a rate of effort that you're gonna try and match. So my resistance goes from level one to 20. So we're gonna start off with a level two here, something really easy, just to get the heart rate going. So right away, the chest is lifted, the shoulders are down. You have a light grip on the machine here. Trying not to lean forward onto it, keeping everything lifted. You should be able to let go for a second and not fall forward. Your core is engaged. All right, guys, give me a little incline, level two. So just up one level on incline. All right, y'all. Our resistance is gonna go up to a level four. And so is our incline. So take both up now. Just a little light jog here. You should still be able to maintain a conversation. So if you're finding yourself out of breath, take it down just a little bit here. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Jogging it out, nice and easy. All right, guys, keep your incline at level four. Take your resistance up to level five. Keep that pace, nice and light. There's a couple different grips you can have on your elliptical. It's important to make sure that you're not death gripping it but you're still working your arms actively to make sure that you're getting a good back workout. The elliptical machine can actually work every part of your body if you let it. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna take the resistance up to a level six. So buff it up a little bit more. Finishing up the warm up here. Nice. So what we're gonna do, guys, is speed intervals throughout this 20 minute workout. So we're gonna bump up the resistance, bump up the speed. We're gonna go for an all out push and then recover. All right guys, first recovery, take both down to the bottom level here. All the way in three, two, one. Take down that resistance, take down that incline. We're gonna get going in about 10 seconds here. I want you to put your resistance on a level four. Don't touch the incline yet. Starting in four, three, two, resistance level four. Let's go, pick it up. Nice, still holding a steady pace. We're not going all out quite yet. That's it guys, hold on to it. Core tight, core tight, breathe. All right, getting ready. You're gonna take that incline up to a two. Starting to climb that gentle hill in 10, in six, in four, in three, incline two, resistance four. Getting ready, we're gonna go all out for 30 seconds. All right guys, gearing up for it. First push in four. In three, get ready, in two. Let's pick up that cadence, pick up that speed. 30 seconds, let's go. Focus, pick it up. I want it as close to 80 RPMs as you can get. I will give you a recovery halfway. Right, guys, 10 seconds. Eight, four, three, two, Take it down, take it down. Nice, take the resistance down. Take the incline down. Just breathe. Awesome. We got a few more rounds of that, guys. All right. Gearing up. Active recovery here. Active recovery, heart rate down. 
Okay. If you want to take that resistance up a point or two, go for it. That cadence is still down lower. It's in the 50s, but if you need to recover with a, it being a little bit slower, go ahead. That's fine, as long as your heart rate is settling. All right, guys. We pick it up again in 15 seconds. So breathe through it. Okay, second one. We're gonna take that resistance up to a level five. In four, three, two, level five on that resistance. It's gonna make this push a little bit harder. You're holding it here for 20. Moderate speed here. Something you can maintain for 15 to 20 minutes. Nothing crazy yet. Don't worry, we'll push that speed. Getting ready, you're gonna take the incline up. You're gonna take the incline up to a five. Three, two, all out, let's go. 30 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up. A little quicker. Heart rate up, 30 seconds. All out effort. This should be challenging, guys. This should be something hard for you. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six. Keep pushing. Last three, last two. Take it down. Just breathe. Take your resistance down to zero. Take your incline flat. Now, if your machine doesn't have one or the other, just stick with me best you can and just adjust it accordingly. So obviously, if I'm telling you to climb a hill but you don't have inclining machine, bump up the resistance and vice versa. But hold this recovery here for a little bit longer. If you need to slow your recovery pace a little bit, do so. All I care about is that your heart rate comes down and that you're ready to give it all out on this next round. Just breathe. Okay, guys. You got 30 seconds. So mentally prepare. If you've stopped moving, pick it up. Again, reset yourself. Chest lifted, shoulders down. Not leaning forward on your machine. Core is engaged. We're gonna take that resistance up in about 15. So, we are eventually gonna get both our resistance and our incline to six. We're gonna start with resistance. All right, in five, four, three, two. Resistance goes up to six, y'all. Take it up, take it up. Awesome. Hold this 20 more. Getting ready. You're gonna touch that incline at 15. Steady pace, steady RPMs. Okay. Incline goes up. In four, three, two. Both are at a six. Your resistance and your incline are at a six. All right, guys, all out bursts of energy, 30 seconds. Let's go. Speed it up, speed it up. Something challenging for you. That's it, guys. Increase that tempo. All out effort here. 15. Just breathe. You got 10. You got six. Four. Three, two, one. Take it down. Nice job. Take both the incline and the resistance down all the way. Recover. Heart rate down. You're halfway done with me. You're half, halfway point. So keep pushing. Breathe. If you need to slow it down a little more to more of a slow jog, that's fine. You can do whatever you need to on these recovery periods as long as you're still moving and as long as you're pushing during those all out 30 second intervals. Okay, recovery is gonna come to a close in 20 seconds. 
so you might want to get back into a jog. Chest lifted, reset your form, core is tight. Not leaning back, not leaning forward. All right, guys. Resistance is gonna go to a seven in 10. If you can't match my numbers, that's fine. Get as close as possible. Three, two, resistance to a seven. Take it up. Still keeping a steady pace. All right, option to add that incline to a level seven. In five, in four, in three, in two. Pick it up, let's go. We got both. We got both. We're gonna do all out. Four, three, two, 30 seconds, let's go. All out effort. Find your focus, find your drive, what pushes you. All right guys, halfway, keep it up, keep it up. It's gonna get a little harder to maintain that speed, I know. Do the best you can. Almost there, five, four, three, two, take both down, recover. Nice job guys, okay. You have a longer recovery here. We're getting close to it. You only have a few more intervals left. So mentally prepare yourself here. Making sure that you don't have a death grip on these handles, okay? Not expend any energy anywhere that you don't need to. Okay. Core in, chest lifted. Find a comfortable pace. Comfortable pace for the next eight minutes of this workout. All right, if you're feeling more recovered, bring it up to a light jog. Especially since we don't have any resistance or incline on the machine right now. Breathe. Okay, getting ready. We're gonna take that resistance to a nine, four, three, two, bring it up, just that resistance. Don't touch the incline. Starting to be a little harder. Your intervals might not be as quick. That's okay. The, the key is, is that you're working, you're trying, and you're pushing your body. Okay. Our ramp is gonna go up, our incline's going up. We're gonna start a slow climb up this hill before we give another burst of energy here. So, incline is going up to a nine. Starting in four, three, two, take it up, let's go. If you can't hit this number, that's okay. Try and get as close as possible here. Getting ready. You're gonna give me a little burst of energy and all out for 30 seconds. Starting in four, three, two. Show me what you got, let's go. It might not be as quick as the first ones. It might have to slow down just a little bit. That's fine. Just challenge yourself here for me. I'm gonna give you a recovery in 15. All right guys, 10. Breathe. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Take it down. Take it down. Nice job. Resistance all the way down. Incline all the way down. Slow it down just a bit. That's it, guys. You've got two more intervals left with me. Two more, then you move on with your day. Your workout is done. So, your only job right now is to focus on recovery. Grab water if you need it. Grab your towel if you need it. Just breathe. Everything's flat. Heart rate should be normalizing. I know I always say this, but a good sign that you're getting more physically fit 
that your body is able to recover a little quicker as time goes on and as you keep working your body. All right, guys, pick it up to a jog if you haven't already. We're gonna take it up with 10 on that resistance in four, in three, in two. Take it up to a 10, just that resistance here. All right, guys, hold it here. Don't touch the incline yet. You're gonna have the option to add on that hill. It's only gonna be a five of hill. It's not gonna be crazy hill. But that means I want you to really push this all out sprint here. All right, guys, take that incline to a five. Getting ready. You go in 10. Pushing as quickly as you can here. In four, in three, in two, level five, and climb. Pick it up. 30 seconds. All out push. That's it, guys. Our pins are up. You should not be able to hold an easy conversation here. You've got 20. 15. Last 10, and then you recover. That's it, guys. Five, four, three, two. Recover. Take that incline down. Take the resistance down. Breathe. I'm going to give you a little over a minute off, okay? So slow down your RPMs, your cadence. Don't let the chest fall forward. Stay lifted. Pull your belly button to your spine, even as you're recovering. Really making sure you're focusing on your core while you're on the elliptical the entire time. Okay, grab some water if you need it. We're gonna start picking it up in 40. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Okay guys, if you stopped, or if you're at like a crawl, I want you to start thinking about taking it back up again. Just think about it. You don't have to quite yet. Okay, now you have to. Pick it up a little bit more. You're at a light jog here. You're at a light jog. Okay, we're gonna hit that resistance. We are gonna take it to a 12. So it's gonna be heavy. I know this last push, you're not gonna be able to go as quickly as you have been able to, but it's about the effort, okay? All right, getting ready. Resistance goes to 12. In four, three, two, take it up, take it up. Take it up, take it up. That's it a little heavier, y'all. Working the back muscles, the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the core. Everything's engaged, nothing's lazy. Nothing slacking here. Your hill is only going to a five. Starting in four, three, two, take that incline to a five. Nothing crazy. I know this is heavy resistance. You can do it. All right, y'all. We're gonna go all out in 15. Getting ready mentally. Leave it all here, this is your last interval. So everything you've got, don't hold back. Four, three, two, take it all out, all out. Let's go. All out. No easy conversations here. Pushing through. As quickly as you can. Halfway, halfway. You got 12, 10, final eight. Four, three, two, one. Resistance goes down. Incline goes down. You're still moving. You haven't stopped completely. Let's breathe. You haven't lost your form either. We're gonna go all the way to the end here. This is part of it. Walking yourself down is part of the work. Nice job, guys. 
Hold on to it. I'll let you walk. In four. In three. In two. Take it down. Awesome, guys. Make sure you take care of yourself today. You drink a little extra water. If you fuel yourself properly, my name's Megan. And from me and everyone at Fitscope, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Instagram, hello.megs. We'll be friends. See you soon.